Hello, my name is Ryan Sigler, and today I'm going to show you how to upload a custom list to Facebook. Uh, this list could be um, your email list, or it could be an export of all of your past purchasers, but the process is generally the same. I'm also going to show you how to clean up that list so that it's acceptable for Facebook. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go log into your business.facebook.com. Um, then you're going to want to go up here. Um, and you may see your audiences up here in this section here. Um, but if you don't, if you click that expand button, you'll find audiences down here. So I've already clicked that and you should be presented with a screen that looks pretty similar to this. If you've uploaded customer or custom lists in the past, you'll have some of those data, some of those data points here and some of those actual lists here and when they were created. If you haven't, this will look totally blank. So next you're going to go to create audience and go ahead and click custom audience. Here you're presented with a variety of options. Go ahead and select customer list. Okay, here it talks about how to prepare your customer list. You have a couple options. Um, they list out some of the actual values that they they accept here, such as email, phone number, all of these. Uh, depending on what platform you're using to export this list, you may or may not have all of these data points. It's pretty rare to have all of them. Um, so don't worry about that. You can download a list template, which will have all the proper headers and everything set up for you. And you can then manipulate your list to look exactly like the actual template list. Um, you could do this. It's definitely time consuming. I'll show you kind of a quick way to do this instead. Um, there's some other guide, you know, formatting guidelines. And then here they also talk about uh, the security and how everything is private and how none of the actual data you upload to Facebook is reversible. So um, you don't need to necessarily worry about you know, privacy concerns for your customers. Um, but if you want to learn more, go ahead and click that learn more button. So first thing I'm going to do is I actually have a sample list here, um, customer data list that I've exported. And I'll show you a couple common things that you need to delete and a couple column, couple common things that you may want to reorganize. So first and foremost, you're going to want to make sure you have first name and last name clearly indicated. You're going to want to make sure your email is there. Make sure that you, if you have the phone numbers for each person, and that's great. You can go ahead and keep that column. Um, I've included these kind of columns here as well, order ID and order date. Now, these are typically what you're going to get as an export when you export from Shopify or another e-commerce platform. Um, Facebook doesn't really have a use for these at this time. So it's a good idea to just highlight these and then delete them. Next, you're going to want to make sure your streets are there. If you can, if you have the street address, again, this is if it's an e-commerce client, if it's just an email, um, export that you're getting from like MailChimp or Clavio or something similar, you may not have these other columns and that's totally fine. I'm just listing these here for an example. So you have street, you have city, make sure your states are just by CA. Uh, make sure you have your zip codes in here if possible. Um, you can have your country as US or United States or whatever other country you want. Um, here, this is a very interesting one. So they have uh, oftentimes it'll export as total spend, but this is actually your total value that each person has spent on your site during the entirety of their existence uh, with your e-commerce platform. So oftentimes what you can do is just rename this as value. Um, and this will come in handy and I'll show, or sh I'll show you why shortly. Um, next, you're gonna wanna save this as not an Excel file, you're gonna wanna save this as a CSV. Go ahead and name it sample customer list or whatever you wanna call it. Don't call it a sample. Okay. There we go. Okay, perfect. We don't need that right now. So here it is. Next, after you get through this page, you're gonna to wanna to hit next here. Again, it's asking you here if you have your value column. So this is gonna be where Facebook won't necessarily treat all of your customers equally. It's gonna, should you use this, this customer list and an audience down the line or a lookalike of this, it'll actually pay more attention and put more value on the types of people who spend more money with your company. Again, if you're just doing an email list, it's no big deal. You can just click no. Um, if you have a customer, if you have a full customer list and you don't have their total values, that's fine too. Just click no. If you do though, if you do have that value column that go ahead and click yes. In this case, we're going to click yes. Okay. Go ahead and read through the 
terms and conditions. All right, so next you're going to go here to upload file. And here is the list that we just worked on. Make sure to name it something proper. So you could name it just sample customer list like I have it in here. But what I like to do is name it in particular. So you could name it as, as your brand. So we'll call this brand just eBoost. We'll say a uh, space, that vertical line space. We'll say customer, customer list with value, values. And you could name it, uh, you can say from Shopify if you wanted to or from whatever platform, okay? You can also add a description if you really wanted to. Um, it's up to you. Then click Next. And now you're going to select what column has that value. So again, this will only come up if you selected that. So I selected the value column. Okay, perfect. So now here, it kind of does a pretty good job at finding what is accurate, but just make sure that these are correct. So we identified that that column is going to be the value. Make sure that these are the emails. Make sure that this is the phone number. Make sure that this is the country. Um, in this case, it's not finding the, here we go. It's not finding the first names, last names, and street addresses. And in some, case, some cases, it won't take the street. So let's just look through this and work on this together. So we have first name. Now we've mapped that. Last name. Boom, we've got that. Let's see. In this case, it doesn't have street. So we will go ahead and skip that. City, state, and zip code. Perfect. Again, these are a few more of those other columns that you may have. You may have date of birth, you may have gender, etc. All right, upload and create. And that's it. That's all you need to do. From here, you could create a lookalike audience, but no, it's not necessary at this point. So. That's all you need to do.